iOS 18 changes everything when it comes to parts pairing and repairability. With Apple's new repair assistant, certain iPhone and iPad models now support genuine used replacement parts that are installed by an independent person. But in iOS 18.1, this will be changing to include some third-party batteries also. As demonstrated in my iPhone 16 teardown, I was able to swap parts between two iPhone 16s and use this new repair assistant to pair the foreign parts to the device. This was not possible when performing my previous iPhone teardowns. Repair Assistant appears as an option in the phone's About page when the phone assesses the replacement part and believes it's genuine. It will then allow you to proceed in pairing the part. The process is undertaken in a special OS that the phone boots into when you start the calibration process. You connect the device to the internet and the Assistant takes care of the rest. It displays what parts have been replaced and if they're genuine. Once complete, you reboot the phone to find the part paired to the device. Any limitations such as missing or disabled features return and the repair is recorded in settings under repair history. It will display the date and type of repair as well as if the part was new, used or for non-genuine unpaired parts, it will display as unknown. Some people have asked, is this new part swapping feature available for older iPhone models? Only the iPhone 15 and later, iPad Pro M4 and Apple iPad Air M2 support the reuse of parts from another device, with a catch. The part must not come from an activation lock device or this new repair assistant won't allow you to pair the part. I can see the benefit to this. It makes it harder to use stolen parts but how does one check for activation lock status of a replacement part? Apple no longer lets you check a whole device for activation lock before purchasing it, unless you have physical access to the device. It appears parts taken from an activation lock phone will still work, but in a reduced capacity, similar to that of third party parts. So whether your part is stolen or third party, it'll be treated the same, which makes me wonder, how does this really deter theft and parting out of phones? If someone has the choice between a third party part and a locked part, both of which have the same functionality, but one is genuine and the other is a third party part, what exactly is the deterrent? Treating third party parts and stolen parts the same is not deterring theft at all. If you were to block stolen parts, but allow third party parts to work, then there's an obvious deterrent to theft. Repair Assistant ships with iPhone 12 or later, but is only used for Apple's self-service repair program for new parts purchased from Apple for the iPhone 12 through 14. You'll need an iPhone 15 or later to be able to install used parts. But if previous models are able to detect parts being changed, why can't they support used or refurbished parts? Maybe there's a technical reason, or maybe it's just something they only wanted to enable on the newer models leaving the older phones with less options for repair. But sometimes even having an unlocked, genuine part won't guarantee that it will pair. As I discovered with the iPhone 16, the display and its sensor cable that attaches to the back of the screen are linked together in software. Replacement of either by itself will result in the display either showing up as not genuine and not allowing you to pair the part, or acting as though nothing has changed when in fact some display specific features have vanished. So if you're buying a screen to fit an iPhone 15 or 16 and are hoping to be able to get full functionality, you must be sure that it comes with its original sensor cable and that it isn't linked to any device with iCloud. How anyone could possibly know if a part is linked to iCloud remains to be seen. As this is a system that requires an internet connection and the latest iOS version at the time of calibrating the part, it makes this system very volatile. We don't know how long a device will be able to use Repair Assistant, whether it's removed after the device is no longer supported by Apple, or if an update will change what can be repaired. Apple is already updating their parts pairing system, but for the better, iOS 18.1 will allow you to read third-party battery health data. There will still be a message informing you that the battery is not original. However, I'm not against this and never have been. There's benefit in knowing what parts have been replaced, especially if purchasing the phone used or wanting to know what's been replaced after a repair. The issue I have is when functionality was removed as a result of a third-party part. 
which made third-party repair appear subpar. Apple's change of heart against repair hasn't occurred overnight or totally willingly. As repair laws have come into place, Apple have been forced to gradually support more repair. Mind you, they've still maintained full control over repair, allowing or approving only what they want. But Repair Assistant is a step forward. It's better than what we've ever seen Apple do before. And now with third-party battery health data, it's only gotten better. It'll be interesting to see how this progresses with newer iPhone models, iOS updates, and as these currently supported devices fall out of Apple's officially supported repair programs. And on that note, this has been a Hugh Jeffries video. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing and check out the teardown and repair assessment. And if you're looking for any used devices, be sure to check out my online store, link for which is down in the description. That's all for this video, and I'll catch you guys next time.